All right, guys, Super G back in the building to play some more Soma. You know, I'm wondering whether or not, even though I'm trying to find what I'm finding for, uh, what's his name again? I, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot, man. Uh, I'm going to close this back. Uh, I'm going to move the chair. Just kind of slide that out of the way. Um, if I should go to any of these other rooms, just because, you know? Did I do this last time? I don't remember. Brandon, you ready to go? Stromar says it's time to move. I'm waiting for Strasky and Alvaro to pack up their stuff. Head downstairs, I'll meet you there. Don't take too long. Don't worry, we're right behind you. I think I just heard Alice talking to Brandon on the intercom. Seems like they were getting ready to leave. You got that from the intercom? Must be a transmission buffer, hang on. Great, this is exactly what we need. I think we got this, Simon. I can synthesize Alice's voice from the intercom and use it to impersonate her for the simulation. We can trick him into feeling safe what? enough is to open you? up. Great. Definitely feeling good about this. Yeah. Good job with the intercom. No, you're not. <laughs> I didn't know you could data mine. What's it like? It's just something that I do now. So it comes naturally to you. That's really interesting. Yeah, I'll make sure to add it to my dating profile. Ah, uh, okay. Actually, I do want to look at this computer really quick, though. Let's see. Uh, okay, Akers finally agreed to uh, evac evacuate Delta. Goya, Cryer, and I moved into Theta today. Akers said he'd stick around for a while longer. That crazy joker, I take pride in my work. Uh, but that place is miserable since the surface stopped sending parts. Uh, I did found my more evidence suggesting they were together during the scan. That's okay, Sherlock. We got it already. We should focus on simulating Brandon Juan. We will. I still want to read though. I did my art scan to get did my art scan together with Alice. Stromer told me that the hangover would basically kill me. Such a such a jerk. <laughs> I was fine at first, but got a splitting headache a couple of hours later. The biggest pain was the Chun that Chun girl. She is so uncomfortable at all times it makes my skin crawl. Okay. I wonder if there's something in here about Catherine though. Strowman went ballistic and shut down all future scans for the ARC project. Okay. Apparently, Conrad wanted in on the uh, continuity and just fried himself right into the pilot seat after the scan. Something tells me we may be getting new security ciphers. Just heard that uh, Komarubi, Komarubi survey team is going to Delta and pick up Acres. He's been alone for months now. Can't imagine what he's been up to. Oh, he's... He's been up to some, some stuff. Did it get all of a sudden get darker in here? No access! We do have access to this one though. Guy Conrad? Does this matter? I'm just I'm gonna I'm gonna take a quick look around, guys, before um what is this? Is this a schematic? What am I looking at? Maser tool safety? Is this an Omni tool? I, I can't, I can't really tell. Electric hazard emitter battery. Okay. This may, this may be useful later, maybe. Crypt tool, tech ref. <laughs> so he must have been an engineer. I can't, I can't, what does my light seem to keep doing that? Oh, well. It's nothing like a good old bottle of Southern Comfort. <laughs> oh, man. It is never... Yeah, he got some more in there. Hey, man. Whatever helps you get, get through it. Is this him? Is that the guy there with the, with the plaid shirt on? Yes. Was that a tattoo across his, across his stomach? Okay, fella. All right. Alrighty then. What is this? Where'd this ball come from? Let's throw it on the bed. Alright, well, there are other rooms we can go into. Oh. Oh, that Chun girl. He was talking about Catherine. We gotta be nosy. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Hey, that's Myra. You want me to bring something? A souvenir? No. It's just memories. 
Journal. You know we're reading this. Uh, Imogen Reed tested a machine today. It was clearly corrupted by WoW, but more importantly, it was assembled in a seemingly primitive way, like someone had specifically created it for WoW to steal. When activated, the machine mimicked the room and read along with it. At some point, she was scanned and, the, uh, and then loaded as a simulation inside the digital space. The presentation shocked Reed and was quickly terminated. It scares me how much it reminds me of my AR capsule. After dissecting the Vivarium machine that Reed activated, it's clear that while copied my capsule project to construct the scene to hold the Reed simulation, it's actually very similar in its construction except for one point. Where my capsule houses flat people constructed from the model neurographs, the Vivarium's brain scan lives on. It, it isn't limited by its content from the originating brain scan Reed emer uh, emerged. The read inside the Vivarium was a perfect copy. I have it. I can save humanity. I can build an artificial reality capsule that can hold every living member of Pathos 2. I can't figure out how it worked with the Vivarium, but I can replicate WoW's scanning technique using the pilot seats. They are already they are already prepared with the type of electromagnetic drums needed. Uh, it was even easier than I thought. The pilot seats are already to set already said to allow the uh, diffraction and high energy needed to capture the scan. I suspect WoW has been using the seat to steal scans from us for a while. I guess that explains the mockingbirds. The WoW must have stolen scans from people using the pilot seat and use it as a basis for intelligence in the machines. With a surprisingly positive reaction from the team, we now officially started the ARC project. We are to scan all the people we can find and load them into the capsule. Then we will launch it into space using the space gun. It's nice to think something uh, will live on like that. Uh, last entry, Mark Sarong killed himself after his scan. He has been suggesting everyone should kill themselves as it would somehow allow them to actually get on the arc. I'm not sure how that would work. It did trigger a lot of arguments among the staff and apparently it is my fault somehow. Stromer is not happy with me, hope it will calm down. Richard gave me a set of AI templates I haven't seen before, unfolded one of them to make a new friend for Capsule Catherine and her gang of legacies. New way to stimulate turbulence makes the weather system so much better. Implemented Reed didn't go well. Try a uh, new try with Reed. Reed won't play nice with others. She is too real. Hmm. Why does my flashlight keep clicking on and off? That's a, she has a dog. Is there anything else in here of significance? Actually, let's move this chair. See if she has anything in these drawers that, uh... What, what is that? Stopacel? What, what, what possibly could that be? Oh, some scissors? And nothing. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, we can turn the light on. Cool. Uh, what about these drawers? What is this? You have a lot of toys. Huh. Uh, what do you mean she has a lot of toys? I only seen one, sir. All right, man. Oh, here's another toy. A stuffed animal with the with the Your teddy bear plated head. Some repairs. Toby always breaks. He's top heavy, so he keeps falling over. Well, yes. What's with the junk? Looks like something you'd fish out of the ocean. Huh? Oh, you mean, yeah, it's a part of Reed's Vivarium. It's, it, it's a long story. Forget it. All right. Well, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and head on back. Uh, try to get the simulation situation going. And uh, see if we can get this all straightened out here. Wait a minute. No, no, no. I'm going the wrong way. Go the wrong way. Let's head up here. And then over here. I compiled an Alice module that we can use. So she'll be with Brandon in the simulation. Sort of. I'll still need to do the talking, but it'll sound and look like Alice. Okay. Oh wait a minute. We gotta put the we gotta put this back. Yep. Okay. Um I guess we should still stick with the scan room, because that's the last place he remembers. So let's and then we'll use Alice, and let's run. 
That wasn't so bad. This room I really got me worked up. Bastard. Well, that's well, what that's you get for listening to his stories. I guess I had it coming. The boss drove on. He said he needed a new cipher ASAP. What should I tell him? It's all right. I could talk to him. Wait. Didn't Chung just tell you to take it easy? Don't worry, I'm not going to tell you. I do feel hungover. Okay. It's 1729 over 42, 12 over 407. Got it? Yeah, I got it. I'm sorry, Mr. DeLong. Red. Goodbye. No, wait. That's enough. We got what we need. Is that what we are? Simulations? Simulations. Yeah, but it shouldn't make any difference. You're still you. Are we? I'm not sure what to do with the data. You decide. Oh, man. It's it's like we're... It's like we're... we're to erase the data would be like erasing his existence. But then, at the same time, it's like, well, that's that's a a memory that's not a happy one. You all always, you know, that's probably a question that, that you could ask yourself. Is like, if there are any areas of your life that were tragic, um, if you had the choice, would you erase the erase the memory of it? Kind of like, you know, Kratos and God of War, uh, where the, the, the memory of him killing his wife and daughter by accident is, a, is something that plagues his mind every single day. Like if you and he's he the, the whole God of War series re revolves around him trying to get that memory removed, and when he can't, he just kill everybody. Like, <laughs> it just I don't know, man. That's that's a, that's a topic for discussion. Like, let me let, I'm asking you guys to comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Like, if you had a tragic moment in your life, if you had the option to erase it, to remove that re that memory, would you? Uh, or would you hold on to it uh, because it plays a part in your character, your personality, you know, and how, you know, your wisdom and how you do things now? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shut it down. I'm not going to erase it. Um, yeah, I'm not I'm not going to erase it. Okay, all, all this is, is insignificant now. All right, so let's go back. Hopefully without no issues. Um, I feel like, why does that look like a, and I'm like actually ducking my head down like I can get a better view. <laughs> that looks like just a whole bunch of organic matter. Like what, what is that? All right, guys, come on. Let's, let's go back. I don't, Simon, we got it. We can get to the Dumbat now. Get back here. I'm, I'm working on it. I'm in. Uh oh, see, see when you got that that automatic save. That's it. What was that? I just, I just feel like this is too good to be true. You know what I'm saying? Like, it can't be this simple. Wait a Catherine, minute. Couldn't we just have extracted the cipher from Brandon's data somehow? It's so cruel bringing him back like we did. No, that's impossible. Memories don't work like that. It's just don't. It's worth it. Whose room is this? Martin Fisher. Robin Bass. I mean, we're here. Let's uh, hey, let's. I, I'm all about trying to figure out. Why is there blood in here? I'm all about trying to further the story. Oh my. Okay. Jeez, man. Okay, what is this? I guess this is this is the Ark. Okay. Let's put that back. Okay, this is. I guess this is him inserting himself there. My light. My, why does my light keep doing that? We're all going. To, we're all dying anyway. I'm all in. 
yeah, we're, we're all dying anyway. I'm all in. I put my faith in Sarong and the continuity. I don't know that you should have done that, sir. You're a cat. That's in London, I believe. Okay. I, did, I, did I not just see something? Hold on. Let me move this chair out of the way. I think there's something glowing on the... Something else going on the table over here. Yeah. Okay. Come on, open! I, I, I can't get it! What? I, there we go. There's it's nothing in there anyway. Alright, so this out. I feel terrible about the Brandon thing. Even worse than the robot at Delta. It's for a good cause. I mean, I, I get that, but isn't isn't like it's it's so hard to kind of detach from that. You know what I mean? Like, because in in essence, I mean, you guys, you guys are still human beings. Um, you're still human. You're just. You know, you're just inside of a robotic body. Uh oh. Oh no. What has happened here? Like there's not there's not much in here. Is he walking outside? Move this over here. My my curiosity gets the best of me, guys. I can't help it. I'm sorry. Do I hear this guy walking around? Okay, well, it's nice to notice this. Should I... I'll go ahead and plug in, I guess. Uh. I feel like, is it me or is it my flash? Does it dim over time? And I'm getting a feeling like this guy is walking up and down this hall or something. I don't know. All right, guys, we, we're going now for sure. I, just as I was about to say, we're going out. Uh, but like, this is important to me, uh, and I'm sorry if it kind of if it's kind of taking some time, guys. I'm just I'm trying to familiarize myself with as much of the story as I possibly can, um, because I, I I don't I don't I don't just you know play video games, be playing them. A lot of times, I try to understand the story because you know these developers put a lot of effort and time in creating these these you know these stories like you know okay I don't know what that is I don't like that though I don't like it there's something here uh, the nature of identity Nothing. I can't really make that out. I don't know what that is. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Mr. Saron, the company is very pleased to hear about your success in making the WoW a station-wide presence. We trust you appreciate what a, what a, a unique opportunity this is and that you will do everything in your power to fully explore and understand this mystery. To do so, you need to ensure that Dr. Johan Ross is able to steer and study the WoW from Alpha Without outside interference, in case of an emergency, you may direct Juliet Dow or Omnicron uh, at Omnicron to forcefully eliminate any opposition, but please make an effort to avoid extreme actions. The WoW is an important, costly affair, and we hope to follow a steady development without setbacks. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I feel some kind of way about this, uh, about my flashlight, man. Carthage. Now what is that? I just, you know, you, you just learn a lot, man, just by, you know, 
Ooh. Did you know that the human body consists of up to 75 trillion individual cells? Jeez. They typically don't stay with us till we die. Some live a few days, while others live a few years. We're not affected by their short lifespans, as they're replaced by new cells which help sustain our bodies. True. I don't think anyone would argue that we ever lose our persona due to this process. Yet we are clearly in a constant state of transformation. <laughs> then how do we remain the same? A continuous flow of thought and perception keeps an unbroken chain of continuity that we know as our self. Our conscious mind is not the pattern of our brain, but a continuous emergent entity based on that pattern. When Dr. Chun populates okay. the Ark, she is capturing a moment of our existence and placing it inside the digital world. Soon you and your digital you will grow apart due to diverging experiences, but right. for a tiny window, you are the very same. With unbroken continuity, it will live on. A fulfilling life, no doubt, no less real than the one from which it was plucked. Now remember, you are not your body. You are the emergent entity. That entity just happens to occupy two places at once for a while. If you took away your body, you would see. Hope you guys don't mind listening to this. This is just this is just important to me as part of the game. The you inside the ark. Okay. Let your body die. And continue on in the digital paradise among the stars. See. Yeah, see, so clearly he was trying to get he was of the mind that you should kill off your human self and live on in your digital self. Dear friends, when you read this, I will have entered the ark. As I've explained, this is accomplished by ceasing to live as your scan is being completed. To not frighten Catherine, I will do this in secret by uh, folding cyanide salts into chewing gum and placing it in my mouth before seeing her. When I hear her announce completion, I will bite down, quickly causing my own demise. When you discover the truth behind my death, uh, know there's no tragedy to mourn, for I am victorious. I advise you all to do the same and join me inside the ark. See? That's... <laughs> yeah, that that's... Yeah. Like, I, I can see how one could think that, that, was a vi that that's a viable option, but it's not. It's not viable at all. I guess my thing is like, why? Why wouldn't you? I don't know, man. I, I, there's no way I'm gonna stop, like my human self. Not a chance. What's with the flickering? So you see these little, these, you see these little flickers. See that? It makes me wonder if, in the end, this entire thing is nothing more than a simulation. All right, here we go. There you are. Just warming up the dumbbell for us. It's been collecting dust for months, so it might need a minute. Okay, that's it. That's everything. Let's go ahead and... Huh. That's weird. Huh. Never mind. What do you need me to do? Head inside the dock. The Omnitool can open the door now. And get into the Dunbat. Then plug me in, and I'll take us into the abyss. Sounds easy enough. Okay. If you say so. Omni tool. All right, let's go. Now, of course, you know, it's not going to be that simple. It never is. Okay, let's uh, go around. I probably could have jumped over it, but eh. Okay. All this for this. Done bat. There it is in all of its glory. That's it. Is there anything in here I can no? Oh wait, this what's down here? Anything? Anything? No. Just just checking out the room, guys. I don't see anything in here. Uh why would this... Oh, ouch. 
I'm thinking this is probably here for a reason. It's my guess. I mean, I can't open it now, but I get the feeling I'm gonna need to. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, activate this thing. I don't know what I'm doing. None, none of these dials are turning. I can't, I can't turn them. Oh, here we go. Okay, that makes sense. There we go. Let's get some juice. Now let's push the button. Ready. Why was that unplugged, though? Okay. System act systems active. Running tests. There's something on that. All systems okay. Preparing release. Ready for release. Release in progress. <laughs> what? What? Oh, no. What? Oh, what happened? Am I dead? No power. No power. Is it in? I can't even see it. See, I had already done this. <laughs> I had already done this, so I, I, I knew it. I knew it. I told you I'll be playing games a long time, y'all. Long time. All right. Where's, where's Catherine? Shouldn't you be saying something right now? Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, I wonder which way. Let's try going backwards. Can't go that way. It's red. Red light. Should have known it wasn't going to be that easy, man. I'm just surprised Catherine. She isn't saying anything, you know what I mean? She's awfully quiet. She did say something about never mind. I think... Why are you nervous? Why is, why is his heart beat up? What's the matter, man? Yeah, here you go, relax. Is there anyone out there claustrophobic? Just, just curious. I'm, I'm not that I don't that I know of. I don't think that I am. I've never been in a tight space like this. Okay, guys, what's on the other end of this door here? Oh my! Where? Where are we? What? Does that say wow on it? It does. Guys, what? Documents, okay. There's a lot of stuff in this room that I'm going to want to interact with. Offline. Okay. What is this? Radiation hazard? What is what what is this? Okay. There's some switches here. Okay, guys, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a break here. 
Um, when I come back, we're going to try to figure out just what the heck happened and why we're in here now. Um, okay. All right, guys. <laughs> well, I will return on tomorrow with more Soma. Uh, we're going to... I'm going to investigate this entire room. Know that. Because, well, that's that's just how I get down. <laughs> All right, guys. So I guess this is as good a place to stop as any. You guys take it easy. Continue to stay safe, guys. Don't forget to wear your mask. Uh, thank all of you guys for your subscriptions, man, for you guys playing your part, man. I uh, I may have to do a video where I just, you know, just do a, a sincere thank you to all of you uh, for, for all of your comments, your likes, your shares, your support, man. I don't take any of it lightly. I think those of you that comment on my channel uh, know exactly how sincere I am. Uh, how you know I'm just I'm just I'm just I'm just like you man you know I guess that's the thing like sometimes we look at celebrities and we look at people who like these big youtubers with millions of subscribers at the end of the day man we we all the same you know it's I'm this is just me you know I'm no different than anyone else really I'm I'm not I just, just made a decision to do something that I love doing so anyway talk about that another time you guys take it easy <laughs> I'll see you with more sober tomorrow Later.